Poll and Quiz feature in Zoom allows you to create poll and quiz questions for your meetings. When you launch polls or quizzes in your meetings, you can collect responses from your participants which can be exported. Polls and quizzes can also be made anonymous when collecting data. To begin creating an exam or quiz, head over to the Zoom portal by going to stonybrook.zoom.us. Then, log in using your Net ID and password. Once you are logged in, select Surveys in the column to the left. Then choose Polls and Quizzes. And select Create. By default, this area will allow you to create a poll which can be changed at any time to a quiz using the Make it a Quiz slider. In this example, we will begin by creating a poll. To start, we can add a title to the poll. Then, we can select a question type. Question types include single choice, where participants can only answer with one choice, multiple choice, where participants can answer with one or more options, matching, where participants can match prompts with possible answers, and rank order, where participants can rank answers using rows and columns. Other types include short answer, where participants can provide a written response within a character limit, long answer, where participants provide a longer written response, fill in the blank, where participants can complete a phrase or sentence, or rating scale, where participants can answer a question with a value between a range of numbers. In this example, I will choose single choice. Then, you can type your question, and your response options. If you would like to add additional response options, select the Add Choice button below the question. If you would like this question to be required, select the required slider. In addition, for single response questions, you have the option to show choices in a drop down box. Also, for single response questions, you can create breakout rooms that participants will be placed in depending on which response option they choose. Please keep in mind, however, that this option is only available if the poll is not anonymous. Another option you have is to add an image to the question by selecting the picture icon. By selecting the dot 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 at the bottom of a question, you can either delete or duplicate a question. To the left of the question, and below the question, you also have the option to add an additional question to the poll. As mentioned before, if you would like to turn your poll into a quiz, select the Make it a Quiz slider. After changing your poll into a quiz, you can set an answer for your quiz questions. When you finish selecting your answer, select Done. 
If you would like to preview the poll or quiz from a participant perspective, you can select the eyeball icon at the top of the screen. If you would like to save your work as a draft, select the dot 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 at the top of the screen, and then choose Save as Draft. And finally, if you are finished, you can select Save. To edit or delete a polar quiz, in the survey area of the Zoom portal, select the dot 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 next to a polar quiz and choose Edit or Delete. By selecting the gear icon when creating or editing a polar quiz, you can change the settings of it to allow for answers to be anonymous. By default, each polar quiz that is created will automatically be applied to all meetings. To launch a poll or quiz in a meeting, follow these steps. Begin by selecting the polls slash quizzes button in the Zoom toolbar during the meeting. Then, find the poll or quiz you wish to launch and select the dot 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 next to it. This will give you the option to edit the poll or quiz, duplicate it, or delete it. For quizzes, you also have the additional option to display questions in a random order or display one question at a time as opposed to all at once. When you are ready to launch, hover over the poll or quiz and select the Launch button. After your poll or quiz is launched, you can view live results of how your participants are answering. When you wish to end it, select End Poll. After you close the quiz or poll, you can select the dot 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 to access the following options. You can either relaunch the quiz or poll, download results, or view the results in your web browser. If you would like to share the results to participants, you can select Share Results. For quizzes, if you wish to show the correct answers to each question to participants, you can choose Show Correct Answers to All. When you would like to end showing the results, select Stop Sharing. To view the results of your polar quiz, go to the survey area of the Zoom portal and follow these steps. Select the graph icon next to the polar quiz you wish to view the results of. Here, in the Results Overview tab, you can see how many responses there were, how much time was spent taking the polar quiz, and the completion rate. Below the results overview area, you can view the question summary. Here you can see the responses for each poll or quiz question. For quizzes, you will notice if participants responded correctly or incorrectly. In the results by launch tab, You can see the launch history of the poll or quiz, which will show the separate results from each time you ran it. And in the Results by Respondent tab, you can see the results of each participant who took the poll or quiz. If you are viewing quiz results, you will see if they answered correctly or incorrectly. At the top right, of the poll or quiz results area, you can select the download icon. This is where you can download all results into a CSV file 
or download the select history of a specific launch of a Polar quiz into a CSV file. By default, all polls and quizzes will be applied to each meeting you create. If you would like to remove these polls or quizzes from specific meetings, go to the Zoom portal and follow these steps. First, select Meetings, and then choose the title of the meeting you wish to edit. From here, choose Polls slash Quizzes. and select the text that says Filter for Meeting. Here, you can unselect the quiz or poll you don't want to include in the meeting. Then select Save to finish. Thank you for watching. For more Zoom-related content, please subscribe to our channel.